Hello, I'm Wasim, a Cloud Support Engineer here at the AWS office in Dublin. Today, I'm going to explain to you how to provide AWS identity and access management users granular access to your AWS Lambda function. I'll walk you through the various set of IAM policies required to create a Lambda function, delete a Lambda function, view the configuration details of a Lambda function, modify a Lambda function, invoke a Lambda function, and monitor a Lambda function. Let's get started. To create a Lambda function, you must have Lambda create function and IAM pass role permission to create and pass the IAM role as the Lambda execution role for the function. Then you can upload the code for the function. Here is an example of a policy that grants those permissions. Don't forget to include your relevant region, account ID, function name, IRAN, and so on. If you are planning to add the code from an Amazon Simple Storage Service packet, you must add the permission to get the object from the bucket. See the snippet of policy required to be added in this example. Because the code can't be provided when the function is created in the Lambda console, API permissions such as read level API actions and permission to view and update the function are required. Additionally, you can create an IAM role during the Lambda function creation process. If you do so, you must add additional IAM permissions to allow you to create the role and manage the policy. Now, we are done with the required permission to create a function. To delete a Lambda function using the AWS CLI or the SDK, you need just the Lambda delete function action allowed for the Lambda function error that you want to delete. However, if you want to allow a user to delete the function using the console, you must grant them the permission to list the function and get the account settings in addition to the action required to delete the function from the AWS CLI or AWS SDK. To give a user permission to view the configuration details of a Lambda function, you must grant them permission to get the function and its configuration and policy, be able to list the versions, see aliases, and get alias details. Also, they must be able to list event source mappings and get their details and list available tags for the function. When using the AWS CLI or AWS SDK, you can grant all or a subset of following permissions. If you are using the console, you can view the configuration details of a function. If you want to do this, add these permissions. These permissions allow a user to filter a Lambda function by tags when using the console. Additionally, the console shows details about the IAM role that is associated with the Lambda function and the resources that the function's IAM role has access to. To be able to view these details, you must have this set of permissions. You can see the full list of required permissions to update your Lambda function. You can further restrict access using Lambda add permission and Lambda remove permission to a principle that is included in a past policy. You can also limit Lambda update event source mapping and Lambda delete event source mapping to a particular event source mapping. You can add additional AWS key management service permissions to specify a customer managed AWS KMS key to encrypt environment variables. If you want to modify the Lambda function using the console, you must add this snippet of permissions. If you are using the AWS CLI or AWS SDK to invoke your function, you need only the following permissions. However, if you are using the console, you must append this permission in addition to the permission required for AWS CLI or AWS SDK permissions. You can also invoke the function from a different account. To make this possible, append the principle to the invoke policy. The console allows to fetch the metric statistics and its data. To be able to monitor the function's metrics, user must have permission to get the metric statistics and metrics data. So now you know how to provide granular access to allow creating, deleting, viewing, modifying, invoking, and monitoring your Lambda function. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.